Yo, welcome to the Bro Drill Cup. This is our very first match of the evening. It's going to be none other than Elu versus Kawazunoko-san. Kawazunoko-san first participation to today's tournament. So, oh, uh, Eno player, by the way. So I'm very, very hyped to see how this is going to end up being. Definitely, uh, I'm just going to ask you guys to wait a couple of seconds now. What are we on? No Tochugeki. And here we go. Sorry, I'm just uh, checking real quick something. And here we go. Yeah, we are good. Uh, so I'm just checking if everybody is good. And here we go with the Kakunaru Uewa. And it's gonna be a first quick round by Eru. He takes it quite convincingly, but it's definitely not over till it's over. Kawazunoko san, show us the power of Eno. You have to, you have to, you have to protect Megu's smile. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with Kawazunoko trying to keep L in check and in, in one specific place, but L definitely not willing to just stay here and endure it. Again with the Yamada-san and a quick first match for Eru. We still have two much more matches to go if uh, Kawazunoko can hope to stay in the winner side of the bracket. Okay, and here we go, a very big jump in by Eru, immediately gets a counter hit. Eru, who's very, very familiar with the Eno matchup, he is a Indonesian player that I had the pleasure to fight against multiple times in tournaments. He actually managed to beat me quite more often than the opposite, so I am fairly sure... Oh no, and a bad wake up. I probably thought, probably that Kawazunoko thought that he was going to be safe from the huge whale, but it wasn't quite the case. And here we go with Elu, immediately trying to find the opening. And here he does a big jumping right when Kawazunoko was on the way to deliver an HCL. And here we go, finally Ka uh, Kawazunoko trying to get back some of the momentum right there. And another big jumping with Eru's jumping H. It basically just eats any attempt of 6 being him. If you don't do it, quick enough, very quick RC right there. And... Eru on point takes the second match as well quite convincingly very nicely done but it's definitely not over till it's over let's see how uh, well how Kawazunoko will be able to bring it back hopefully he will ah, and the big standing age that did a ton of damage just one hit oh lord and here we go Kawazunoko back in jail right there and again with the Yamada-san oh my lord and the freaking life of Kawazunoko just evaporates in the big blue sea man <laughs> lord oh again with the jump in man Elu on point this dude on point ah drops a combo but you know what he gets the reset it's even better and look at the damage again half of your life just gone into the dust and Elu not afraid to just run straight oh and unfortunately messes his combo up Kwasunoko has one more chance to try to bring it back let's see how he pans it out oh no and unfortunately for Kawazunoko san immediately gets damn and Hoshino rocking the sick level 6000 man holy freaking lord this dude is not a slouch definitely no slouch you should definitely be careful when you face him let's see if uh well how this is going to pan out basically hopefully everything is going to be okay for everybody ah 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 first connection error perhaps no no connection error perfect i jinxed it and a hell of a jinx we need it right now so it's perfect so let me check mugisan hello mugis where are we going Green map. just one second as for written above, your match is a dream one. So please wait. And here we go, a quick first match taken by Versace, by the way. Bam! I wish I saw this first match. <laughs> Lord, and here we go, Versace actually manages to take it, but then again, if I might say, perhaps that the matchup is not necessarily in favor of, of, um, oh my lord, and the pickup, the big juggle, and my lord, with the overdrive, this is gonna, this is definitely gonna overkill, it's gonna kill Melia twice over, very, very nicely done by Hoshino, puts one round on the board, let's see if Versace can get back some momentum, and here we go with the jump in behemoth and the 
wonderful jumping D from Gold Lewis. Oh my lord, and look at the wow, the optimization station. Here we go with the setups. You have to block. You're in block land. Oh my lord, and going stay. Oh my lord, what the hell was that? That was crazy good. And here we go with Hoshino taking a quick first match from Versace. Versace definitely seemed like he was quite comfortable on during the first match, but fortunately wasn't quite uh, uh, ready to handle uh ready to handle, uh, well, Hoshino's aggressiveness right now. That being said, here we go on the second match, and already Versace in the corner having to deal with an, well, uh, with relentless pressure, and with, just like this, Hoshino gets a wall break and a positive bonus at that. This is going to be very, very hard for Versace to, yeah, yeah, that was, like, probably impossible to come back from. <laughs> That being said, here we go on to the second round of this match. An immediate sledge right there from Versace. Finds the opening, tries to grab Hoshino, but Hoshino aware of it and just uh, just um, backdashes from it. Caffeine is bad from Rainbow. <laughs> I think Caffeine is not in Tokyo, so it shouldn't be that problematic. <laughs> okay, here we go with the run-up for S counter hit right there from Versace. He's gonna get a wall break or not, decides to go for a reset, and rightfully so, he's gonna cancel this into overdrive, and for the kill. Good stuff from Versace, brings it back. Let's see if he can manage to seal this second round as well. Not this third round, actually. Very nice 6 right there from Versace. Catches the jumping D from Hoshino out of the air, and a big counter hit right there into conversion from Hoshino. Already half of life down from Versace, and this is gonna kill. Buttery life from Melia already, man. Just a matter of seconds for half of the life of Melia to just gone, gone in the wind, man. Okay, let's see if Versace wants to change characters, but it's not the case. Here we go back to the match, and again with the jumping D, man. Hoshino harassing Versace, man. Not wanting to give him a single respite. This is Behemoth, exactly, just like uh, just like Gobo said, this is Behemoth. You have to hold it. If you don't, you're still going to get hit even harder than if you did. And here we go with the wall bounce, man. And look at the damage. And he goes for the reset. Again, Versace forced to block. Goes for the overhead. Very nice blocks from Versace, but gets opened by the jumping D. And again with the block. And finally, Versace manages to get out of the corner. Goes for a... Um, Cross under. Oh, okay, here we go with the mine. The neutral eraser, as I like to call it. And here we go back to the corner, but the other corner that... Oh, my lord. And gets hit by the far behemoth. Oh, my lord. The pressure was relentless. Good God. Good lord. <laughs> and here we go. Finally, Versace gets something going. He has managed to win both rounds, both uh, both rounds of previous matches, but hasn't quite been capable of uh, sealing the deal. Drone best character, exactly, yeah, the drone is the absolute best character of Guilty Gear Strive, and Versace seems in a very good position right there to take this match. Oh, he would have taken it if he cancelled into the overdrive, but unfortunately he probably wasn't a oh, lord. and, okay, that was a very strange interaction, I didn't even know that there was no uh, hitbox on uh, the um, originating uh, part of the behemoth. This is quite surprising, but just as I say this, look at the life of Melia. She gets open twice, she dies. Yeah, oh my lord, oh my lord, and this is death. This is death. Oh my lord, doesn't even need the wall break. Good lord. And, and then again, we didn't get to watch the previous match, so time-wise, we're still pretty good, I think. Let's just hope it works. Perfect, and here we go on to the next battle. Finally, we finally can see this match of the Titans. As I have said previously, RX and takarain san both expert at their own characters. So Testament rocking, uh, RX Testament rock, <laughs> RX rocking Testament, <laughs> and Takarin rocking Axel. Let's see how this pans out. As you can see, both characters right now trying to play the neutral game. An immediate 2H counter. Hit anti-air from Takarin on point when it comes to punishing them. IAD is very nicely done. And here we go with RX finding the opening immediately. Puts Takarin in the corner. Uses the bounce of the stained state to get a hard knockdown. But Takarin not afraid to press button even if he's cornered. Here we go. He tries to use the lens and to put some distance between him and his opponents. So just one second. I've been summoned in the... 
Have I? Okay. Everything good? Give me one second. I think I've been summoned. Okay, perfect. And these things. So very good. I haven't been summoned. Hey, no, I haven't. Okay, very good. Ah, bueno. Bueno! Ah, bueno! Uh, you you have to you have your losers match. Oh. Oh my cheek, Bueno, well, no, your match. You have your losers match to play. Uh, just one second. Let's see, bueno, bueno, bueno. Ah, oh, damn it, I have his, uh, his line. I have your line, <laughs> actually. It might be either like this. Bueno, where are you? Yo, your opponent is following you. Please. Okay, here we go, first match. Check on him now. Okay, here we go. Should be good now. We'll fool against my local. Okay, and here we go with. I do believe that RX is going to change characters right now to Chip, most certainly. Yep, and that is the case. Okay, very, very nice first one from uh, first uh, first what's it called? Very nice first round from uh, from Takarin. Hopefully, we won't get a connection error. Please, game. Please, game. Yes. Oh my lord, that was so, so, so tight. Anyways, here we go with the start of the second match with RX making that the, that character change. Chip has been working a lot for RX, especially in the Axel matchup. So let's see if he managed. He actually, I do believe, managed to beat Takarin previously by using Chip. So let's see how this fits out this time around. But Takarin making a good job of being very nimble, very hard to pin down. And very nice conversion right there. Qu couldn't quite seal the deal. But RX sticking to Takarin like glue doesn't want to give him a single second of respite. He decides not to use the burst and it actually works not in his favor in that particular instance because he ran straight into a uh, A2H actually. And here we go with the 2K2, the interrupts the, uh, the, the dash from, from RX. Takarin doing a good job of trying to keep him out but here we go RX finally finds an opening again with the 2 K to the interrupt from Takarin. No entires right there for RX. This is really, really unfortunate. He does get the follow up of the Sukiyaki to keep the pressure. Very nice nail uh, right there to entire RX. And here you go. You can see RX using these very fast dash uh, of Chip to try to uh, close the gap. And he manages to hit Takarin with a counter hit. Overhead, this did a lot of damage. It's not going to kill because. <laughs> because the damage of this overdrive is laughable. <laughs> and here we go with a quick Alpha Blade on Wake Up for the kill. Very nicely done by Rx. Manages to take the first round. And again with the 2k2d to interrupt Takarin. And Takarin in the corner has to oh hold on this pressure. Very nice to 6p uh, six, six right there from Rx. Scoops Takarin out of the, out of the air. And here we go with the Relentless pressure Takarin just jumping back uh, jumping back H wow okay no entire right there again from Takarin definitely has a little bit more of a hard time trying to entire RX when he has chip probably due to his movement speed and due to his um well due to his uh the options that he has in the air as well very nice to H right there from Takarin hits managed to hit RX but again Takarin man doing a good job of just blocking, man. He wasn't. Uh, uh, he wasn't expecting the uh, the overhead, but oh lord, and that should be. This is gonna not kill, not quite. He didn't have any bars to. Oh lord, and the alpha blade. Yeah, one hit should do. One hit should do. Oh lord, and the two H for the kill. And just like this, Takani manages to take the second match as well. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, and the freaking run. Okay, but luckily for RX, he wasn't punished right there on his burst. And the quick grab right there from Takarina. And wow, that was an awesome 
Backdash in the corner from RX managed to make the grab of Takarin with. Right after the second Tsukiyaki, however, he was a little bit too far from his enemy to try to get anything on. And here we go again with the 2K2D. Manages to hit RX. And here we go with the Alpha Blade. Very nice reset of the pressure. And here we go with the Alpha Blade. Very nice block from Takarin. And he's going to take it thanks to the fact that he could Roman cancel it on time. And here we go with the potential final match of this set and again rx very nice oh lord and takari not afraid to just run up and grab and again with the back dash right there from rx not contested any uh how by oh takari a little bit early on his midi but takari wasn't expected it couldn't quite punish it correctly oh very nice punish that was crazy that back dash to evade the command grab and straight up run and uh, I do believe it was standing it as all oh, the bad alpha blade right there. This is so for this. This is gonna kill. That might. That sound gonna kill. No. Nah. But at least he has the corner. Uh, the corner. Oh no, again with the 2k, dude. He man has been working. Oh lord. Oh lord. Here we go with the fart. Uh, yeah, here we go. RX in dire straits. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, no, that was so crazy! And just like this, Takari takes it a clean. Potentially, arguably not in uh, in favor of, uh, of of Testament. So that's the reason why. And that being said, here we go on to the next battle, 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 battle. It's gonna be none other than Caffeine against Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. Immediate IED right there at the start of the match by Kohide. And a quick dust, and here we go with Caffeine in with the favorable 2D counter hit. Finally forced to pop the burst, but Kohide definitely seems uh, familiar with this matchup, actually. Oh, Lord, and the big 4H counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage into the overdrive. Look at the damage. Oh, it's, it's it's decent damage. That being said, here we go with Kohide. Immediate double dash. Try to hit something. Oh, Lord. Okay, here we go. Back to the neutral, and Caffeine has one minion out. Jacko definitely not... A stranger to comebacks, but Kohide a little bit too much to handle at that particular time. Unfortunately for Caffeine, he gets opened up and loses the first round. That being said, Rigo, there's the second round immediately. Kohide puts Caffeine in the corner, trying to open him up various different ways. And this is going to do a lot of damage. Look at the damage. Well, it's okay. So, and a big 6 HS counter it right there with the conversion. Finally, Caffeine gets three minions out. Kohide needs to respect it a little bit, uh, unfortunately for Caffeine, Kohide uses the uh, aerial overdrive to try to uh, make a safe approach, that being said, here we go with the overdrive, it's gonna do a lot of damage, and the wall break, here we go, no save jump right there, the side, oh lord, okay, saved by the minions, the double Nasante. And oh no, oh no, and the bad burst. This is so unfortunate. This is so unfortunate. And just like this, actually, Kohide manages to take it with the unfortunate badly timed burst right there from Caffeine. Kohide used the overdrive, was safe. Well, made, his overdrive made it so that his descent was so fast that the burst couldn't hit it in time. And it basically made it whiffed. And Upon uh, doing so, Kohide was already on the ground when Caffeine came down to him on the silver plate. <laughs> Completely uh, defenseless, and that's how Kohide managed to take it. Here we go with the... Um, okay, no minions out. Yeah, okay, finally one minion out. Hopefully Caffeine can get something started. Very nice AD right there. He's gonna get the first round. Very nicely done. Kaboom! Good stuff from Caffeine, finally puts one on the board. Let me check real quick the brackets. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. What the hell? Okay, okay, should be okay. And here we go with the onslaught from Kohide gets a wall break. Oh lord, and the very nice confirm right there from Caffeine gets the RC and the corner carry. Ah, but yeah, as you can see, the speed of Giovanna is definitely a problem for uh, for Caffeine because he cannot manage to put enough distance between him and his opponent to try to put some minions on the uh, well on the on the sage, and that's definitely 
doing a big number on him, but very nice start of the round right there from Caffeine. Manages to open Kohide twice in a row. He needs to keep the pressure going, but he is in a prime position to actually take it very nice 2D. Catches the back dash from Kohide, and Kohide not afraid to just dash forward, man. Kohide in dire straits. Oh, the double dash. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. And the Quake Dust for the perfect. And that was a statement from Caffeine. Manages to take the second match very convincingly. Here we go on to the next battle. Nice start of the round from Caffeine. Manages to finally make uh, Kohide pop the burst. And as you can see, Caffeine starting to adapt right there. Seeing that Kohide doesn't really resort to going in the air and just dashing for him towards him. So what Caffeine is doing is just waiting for him to first dash a first time because a second time is probably given and he just uses the 2d to catch the dash recovery frame and and deal some damage and just like this caffeine just turning the tide in the blink of an eye just like this is in uh the lead of uh this this match right now and here we go with kohide wanting to use the spinning uh not the spinning bird <laughs> The uh, spiral arrow, I'm sorry. And here we go with... The, oh, Lord, the big pressure right there. And Caffeine again with the relentless pressure from the minion. Is slowly eating away at Kohide's bar right now. And oh, my Lord, Kohide looking very, very lost, actually. This is really... Um, it's quite surprising, especially since Kohide was, seemed so much in charge during the first match. But as I'm saying this, the... Uh, the... Oh, Lord. Oh, very nice stuff. Oh, okay, he's out of the corner, at least. Ah, uh, no, very nice jump in. Finally, Kohide taken to the air. Bad punish attempt. Oh, my Lord, in the back. Dash into the 2D. The 2D, such a great move. Oh, no, he misses the juggle. He was on the verge of taking it. Kohide in dire straits. He needs to deal with everything. Oh, and he gets scooped by the aerial Hadouken. <laughs> from Jacko, very nicely done by Caffeine, takes the second match, man, and Kohide actually looking quite lost and very nice for HS right there from Kohide, gets the counter hit, however, is forced to burn, oh, and finally, Caffeine on point with the 6P, gets the counter hit, oh, lord, and the, oh, the aerial, no, not the aerial, the spinning bird, not the spinning bird, oh, lord, the cannon drill, and here we go with the conversion station from Kohide, look at the, oh, Good lord, look at the damage. Oh, and he gets hit with the low and he's gonna get the kill with the OT. And just like this, the momentum shift is back and forth. This is a freaking ping pong match, man. And here we go. Very nice cannon drill right there from Kohide. Manages to catch Caffeine on his way down. Kill it. Oh, lord. And again with the cannon drill, Kohide is trying to find some sort of angle right there to get consistent. Oh, ways in. And Kohide with the, the the in and out, man. Oh, Lord, and the, with Nasante not punished. Oh, okay, here we go with the very nice block right there from Caffeine, but Kohide, man. Oh, Lord, so far, but so close. Oh, so close, but so far. Oh, okay, here we go with possibly a setup in order to time a grab. I'm not quite sure, but Kohide manages to take the uh, fourth match, actually. So this is a complete tie. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. In the end, very nice again with the startup. H, uh, for H counter hit from Kohide, man. This has been working a lot for him. Very nice 6P right there. Oh, and the burst, immediate burst. And Caffeine connects the for H counter hit into RC to extend. And he gets the grab. Kohide in dire straits right now. Might need to resort to using... Oh, my lord, and the grab! The grab and the empty low. And just like this, Caffeine is going to take the lead. <laughs> Good stuff from Caffeine, man. He's on the verge. He's on match point right now. Let's see if Kohide manages to... Oh, and the big freaking standing AS counter hit. Okay, you can see Kohide trying to whiff punish stuff again. His whiff punish game has been really, really, really good. But my lord, the recovery on Jacko is not to be trifled with. And here we go with the overdrive. He's going to get the hard knockdown. Caffeine's life hanging by a thread. It has been an going on and forth and back and forth again for both players. As soon as one manages to get a hit in, it's basically end. It's basically game over. So let's see how the absolute final round of the final match is going to unfold. Who is going to take it? We shall see. Okay, here we go. With, oh, or 
No, no punish on the cannon dribble. So it's still okay. Caffeine in very prime position. Right there, manages to get two. Two. Oh, but here we go. It wasn't for the first. Oh, no. My lord and caffeine gets his bag that scooped. Oh, lord. And then the Santa counter hit. No punish. Here we go. Oh, okay. No, he didn't press the button. Very nicely done. Oh, no. You get scooped. Oh, Lord. Oh, very nicely done. Finally, Caffeine finds the opening. Oh, Lord. Ah, uh, Caffeine, a little bit, like, I feel like he's a little bit stressed right there. He needs to collect himself a bit. Oh, very nice 2D counter hit. Is he gonna get the juggle? No juggle. Okay, here we go. He wants to keep all of Dominion on. Go eat it. Oh, Lord, go eat it. Manages to fight. No. No. No, Lord. And this, this, this is gonna do... Uh, no, it's not gonna do actually. Oh, and the quick dust for the win, and Koide takes it by the skin of his teeth. That was such a hype match, man. Across every single part of our being. Here we go, Hoshino versus Takarin. Please wear a game. Please. Game. 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 Please. Freaking game. Yes, we're in. We're in, guys. <laughs> guys, I'm sorry. I said, guys, <laughs> we're in. Here we go, let's play. Hoshino, Gold Lewis against Takarin Axel. Gonna be a crazy freaking match, I can tell. I'm playing the lead here, got it? We shall see. I hope you desire to see this game convert to a game. <laughs> and it did. <laughs> it finally did. It finally did. My prayers have been answered. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Lord and an immediate jump in from Takarien. Very nice 2D right uh, jumping me from Hoshino. Managed to find the opening. Good quick to uh, P into the uh, behemoth to get a uh, count uh, a hard knockdown. And again, here you go with Hoshino bringing the heat. And as I said it, man, Takarien, if he gets open even once, get bring brought into the corner, it's pretty much game over. So the big uh the big name of this game is gonna be Takarin being able to out Yeah, yeah. Oh my lord, and he just gets hit by the mine and manages to take it very, very con confidently. I think I have been summoned somewhere. Wolf versus Edel. Okay, okay, we're good. Everything good. Uh, yeah, good. Wolf versus Edel, everything good, guys? Oh lord, and look at the damage! That was so crazy! I, I didn't look at the screen for like five seconds and immediately Hoshino already bringing in the heat and taking the freaking man that was crazy damage man good lord that was crazy and here we go on with the next match and immediately yeah Takarin definitely needs to to out freaking uh to zone him out I mean as soon as Hoshino is in I think it's basically game over and I think that yeah Linsengeki cannot get rid of the mine it seems like it's the case because Twice already that Takarin couldn't, uh, they didn't want to use an instant Genki uh, right when uh, when Hoshino uh, popped a uh, mine out. So I don't really know. Okay, here we go. Hoshino probably wanting to put some distance in order to. Oh my lord! And that entire that entire was crazy good. Good stuff from Takarin. Only person have uh, seen deal with the Gold Wish effectively is Mystic Smash. Well, maybe you you might. Uh, you might uh, are going to see one today as well. Maybe, maybe. It's not sure. As of now, Takarin is looking pretty good though. Has the, a huge life lead. Managed to bait the burst as well. Let's see if he can take it. Very nice 2k 2d right there. Oh, and again with the snail catches. Hoshino out of the air. Oh, Lord. Oh, and the... Oh, Lord. The aerial grab. And just like this, you can see Hoshino. Ah, uh, no Lensengeki. Okay, so... Oh my lord, and the aerial rainwater for the kill gets still hit afterwards by the mine, but who cares, he managed to, to get it quite convincingly. Oh my lord! Smoy! <laughs> the Shmi braid! <laughs> Smoy, thanks man! Exactly, Hoshino's got it, man! Hoshino is a freaking god with Gold Lewis. And just as I say this, guys, this is Smoy. You probably know him as one of the best European Gold Lewis in the, well, in Europe, basically. So I'm pretty sure you guys know him. He came at a very, very uh, fortunate moment 
when Hoshino, another very good Lewis, is actually participating to the tournament. So anyways, as always, thank you very much, Smod. I hope you had a very, very nice stream. And as always, thank you for harrying me with the raids. Very, very much appreciated, brother. Very fortunate we get to see Hoshino win. Exactly! As you can see right now, he is in the lead. One match, one round in the lead. Thank you very much for the follow, Kabojin. Always appreciate it. And uh, welcome to the Brojo's. Hey, this tournament has always shown me crazy contestants. Today will be no different. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your uh, your kind words and your confidence as well. I hope that I will be able to answer this confidence with uh, with very, very surprising matches and very, very surprising contestants as well. We love gold. Uh, we love good gold Lewis moments. Hopefully, you are going to see one. But as I say this, you are actually seeing one. And here we go with the ones. <laughs> My love. He almost got the kill. And just like this, Hoshino in the lead. Oh. Lord, and here you go. You're gonna eat it. Oh Lord! Oh, and the two P for the win. And just like this, Hoshino takes a hefty freaking lead for two to one. Let's see if Takarin is able to reverse the momentum and eventually bring it back to Coffin Gaming. <laughs> exactly. Very nicely done. Very nice far P though from Takarin San. Just scoops uh, Hoshino out of the air. And just as I say this, here we go. Takani actually wanting to close the gap between him and Gold Lewis. This is something I would have never seen before. <laughs> with that being said, here we go with the mine. The mine, the best game in the character, by the way. <laughs> and here we go with the behemoth presser. And Takarin has to hold it. And this is death. And just like this, Hoshino on the verge of taking this. Hoshino's goddess. I'm not even worried. Oh my lord, look at the word. Look at the confidence of Smoip Senpai, man. Look at the confidence. If Smoip says that Hoshino's got it, I want to say that Hoshino probably has it. But here we go with the 4S from Takarin. Manages to put a quite a hefty distance between Hoshino and him. Very nice standing P again from Takarin to scoop Hoshino out of the air. Knock on wood. And here we go again with the zoning, but again, Oshino made his way in. What is gonna be the mix? Oh my lord, and bad backdash, and just like this, this is the system down with the system, Mother Humper. And just like this, Oshino has his best friend by his side, Drone, of course he would win, yeah. The Drone, except also arguably the best character in the in the game, the Drone, GG's. With a banana, is hosting the tournament, of course, of course, the one and only. The ST and kind banana. <laughs> that being said, here we go with the match, the ongoing match, Boogie versus Kohi. They both have been fighting each other so long, for so they know each other in and out. And here we go with the very nice 2K into the 6P right there from Kohi. They finds the open. Oh lord, he lands right on a 6P from Mugi. Here we go, Mugi has. Oh lord, a little bit too late for the 6P. He gets scooped by the overdrive from Giovanna from Kohi. And here we go with the 2S counter hit, and Kohide is gonna bring the pain. But that being said, Mugi rocking Nagoriyuki, who has the best health and one of the best guts in the game. Okay, and here we go with the pressure. Mugi a little bit too far to catch his opponent with the command grab, and here we go with the... Oh, this is gonna be death, yeah. This is gonna be death. Oh, no! He popped! You popped, you popped. Oh, Lord! No! No! Oh, Lord! What is gonna happen? Oh, and the run up 2k for the win by Kohide manages to take the first round of this set. Thank you very much for the follow, the coach mode. Welcome to the Brojo. That being said, here we go with the onslaught from Mugi. Got, no, not Mugi, from Kohide. Got Mugi right in the corner. Very nice with punish right there. 2k, 6p into the standing k. But that being said, here we go with Mugi manages to side uh, swap, uh, side switch right there. Very nice aerial grab. Also with the OTG, get some additional damage. He's gonna get the wall break. No hard knockdown right there, but still in the prime position to take this round. We shall see. Lord and the double fuku into the grab. The cojones on that dude, man. Nagori Mugi manages to take the second round. How is this going to pan out? We shall see. Very nice blade blade right now. Catches the back dash in. Kohide taking it to the airs. Gets scooped by a 6P. No wake up overdrive right there from Kohide. Wants to hold on to this. Godsend freaking. Uh, oh lord, here we go. Go, go. He just smoked me in tower earlier. I am a believer. Yeah, Kohide is crazy good, man. Probably one of the best uh, Giovanna in Japan. Seconded only by. Not seconded. Actually, I think that TY is better. But Kohide is definitely like the second best Giovanna in Japan. No questions asked. Here we go. Very nice with punish again from Kohide. The double uh, standing K into the 
Sepultura, he's gonna get Nasanted, but it's okay, Mugi using the RC to make it safe. Very nice punish on the Nas on the Quick Dust, and just like this, Mugi seals the deal and takes the first match. This is 1 to 0, definitely no mark of an outstanding, like, uh, completely one sided match. It is not the case. Both are actually uh, playing quite, uh, s not similarly, but their level is definitely, well, there's no, like, uh, it's not a one-sided match whatsoever. Let's see if Kohide can reverse a little bit of the uh, the momentum, though. Very nice patience right there from Mugi, getting as close as possible to Kohide as possible, and using the close slash to open him up. Oh my lord, Nasante rc into the kick flip into I am going to send your ass and hit right as uh, break the wall and send you on a hard knockdown what is going to be the Okizume here we go with the save jump especially since Mugi has one tension bar he could wake up with a overdrive anytime now here we go again with two bars for Mugi this is going to be pressure uh station oh but here we go with cool he did finding the gaps in the onslaught from Mugi catches the bag dash and just like this he's going to get the kill very nicely done, Kohide manages to put one round of the second match on board. He takes the lead, very nice command grab right there, Mugi is gonna be able to go ape, ape, <laughs> here we go, go, the gorilla, second grab, lord, and the pressure is real, and just like this, oh my lord, is this gonna kill, oh my lord, is this gonna kill, I think this is gonna kill, lord, good lord, <laughs> Oh my lord, this is crazy man, very nicely done by Mugi though, very nice awareness that this was just gonna make it, because I'm pretty sure it was like, it, it, it wasn't like, um, it was quite ambiguous, ambiguous whether it was gonna kill or not, and Mugi was aware that it was gonna kill, and that's the reason why he popped the overdrive right there. That being said, here we go with Kohide having Mugi right where he wants it, very nice reaction to uh, to uh, cancel the 2k 2d into the, uh, the, 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 the dragon from Mugi. Okay, here we go with, oh lord, okay, very nice 2k, punishes the throat attempt from Kohide. And here we go, and this should do, yeah. Wall break into You Are Dead. Good stuff from Mugi, manages to take the second match as well. These matches have been super close, but for some reason, like, Kokid has not been able to close it out correctly. It's always been, like, uh... It, it's always been, like, uh... The, so close but so far from Kohide but still okay it's not over till it's over Kohide again with a Mugi in the corner let's see how this pans out very nice dash into the throw and here we go with the pressure very nice back dash doesn't get scooped by the 2s again with the wall with the grab and I think this no it's not gonna kill actually saved by the wall break by Mugi the neutral has been reset but Oh my lord, Kohide will have a positive bonus. A very nice use with the closest to catch the back dash from Kohide. And here again, a very nice 2S counter hit. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go with the 6HS. Raise the wall. Oh lord, and the Fukio to put some distance because he, he probably knows that Kohide wants to jump and do the overdrive. Oh lord, they did let it rip. Okay, very nice. Very no Lord and the freaking grab has been baited. And Mugi on match point right there. It's been so close for Kohide though. I don't understand, man. But it's still okay. Here we go with the Zarame Yuki. Uh here we go. And 6 HS to put him on the ground again with 6 HS frame trap. Oh lord. And got the Fukio into the dash. Oh, okay, no punish on the uh, cannon drill. Still okay with the far S catches the back dash from Kohide. Kohide has been very, very uh, back dash happy uh, during this tournament. Well, most of the time, actually. He loves back dash, not to be... Yeah, the reads have been crazy, L. Anyways, here we go with the wall break. And a oh my lord, and the 6k to punish the 2k attempt from Kohide. Scoops him and punishes him and finishes him with the overdrive for the kill. And Mugi takes it up. And here we go with the following match. It's going to be Horu Faust against Eru. May. It's going to be a pretty uh, a dynamite match, if you ask me, actually. Let's see how this pans out. I do believe uh, Horu has been putting the work in Faust quite lately, so hopefully he's going to be able to show us some pretty nice stuff. Good uh, air, uh, air, uh, air to air right there in favor of Horu. That being said, here we go. Eru uh, has successfully put him in the corner. That being said, the normals of Faust are very, very uh, 
travel quite some... Oh lord, and here we go with the Totsugeki to land right underneath wall. That being said, yeah, very nice punish right there from Eru. Get scooped by the overhead though. Oh my lord, and the jumping 2k right there from Horu even gets the follow-up again. Oh lord, yeah, Eru in Dire Straits right there has to deal with all sorts of different crap. Oh, okay, here we go with the Roman Cancel and the 6 before the kill. Good stuff from Holu manages to take the first round. Let's see how this pans out. This is actually the first time I see a Faust with this skin. I'm actually quite happy. <laughs> Lord. That being said, no entire right there from Eru, but very nice interrupt from Wool. Uses the 5k to... Oh my lord! The big counter hit. Look at that. The life of Faust has melted away. That being said, here we go. Oh, just underneath him. Here we go with the Totsugeki. No, uh, no interruptions right there from Wall, and he's dead. <laughs> no more life. Bye bye. Good stuff from Eru. Manages to take it very, very convincingly on to the third round. One who takes this one takes it all. Very nice jump in from Eru. Gets a counter hit. Okay, doesn't. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Very nice jumping D right there from Wall. Manages to open his opponent up, and my lord, he gets opened up himself by using the Scarecrow to try to get out of the corner. Very nice confirmed though right there, uses the Mix 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 to extend the... Uh, okay, oh my lord, a little bit too far to get the over the head, but it's still okay, he gets the overdrive from Faust. This is not gonna kill? It's not gonna kill. It's not, yeah. Not gonna kill because of Guts. That being said, oh lord, Eru, wake up, burst, and my lord, a big 6 H's counter hit. Oh no, no, not like this, but it's okay, no! And Horu, unfortunately for him, I think he just gave up at the end, even though he still had one. He, he, oh lord, if he woke up like overdrive at that mo moment, he would have won. But it's still okay, he still has one chance. This will probably hurt his, um, his momentum though, but it's still okay, very nice for uh, a very nice spear right there. He couldn't quite get the hit though. And Elu not afraid to freaking run from the other side of the freaking of the freaking uh, stage just to grab his opponent. Okay, here we go with the mix, mix, mix. Good stuff. Gets the extension. Very nice entire. He's gonna get the wall break. Yes, he is. Here we go. Decides to keep his tension bar for uh, an extension, I do believe. Very nice scarecrow right there. Finds the extension again with the scarecrow. Wake up, he wanted to get an extension oh lord and the badly timed jump in oh what yeah probably that was the best oh lord oh. okay nice interrupt right there from wall oh he couldn't quite get the juggle and wall actually using a lot of scarecrow it's not working in his favor most of the time though Woo. okay here we go very nice he gets the knockdown and the juggle with the uh the weight right there good stuff from wall manages to take the first round Let's see if you can take two. Oh lord, and very nice 6 speed this time around. From Wool, from uh, Eru, my lord, this man is throwing projectiles like Carton and Bulls. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he loves them projectiles. Lord, and the big 2S counter hit right there from Eru. He's got Wool exactly where he wants, and again. Again, Wool wanted to take into the air, but Eru definitely doing a good job from entering him this time around. And here we go with the juggle, and Eru is gonna take it. Yeah, good stuff. But it's still okay. Uh, Will does have his burst. L is about to get his burst back. So, oh, the big 2k. Jumping 2k counter it right there from Will and the air to air again in favor of Will. Lord, and the command grab. Finally, you're going to get eight. Afro. Oh, Lord, and finally forced to pop the burst. And, oh, very nice everywhere again from Will. Couldn't quite get the... Couldn't quite get the, 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 the juggle, but it's still okay. Here we go. Lord and the jumping to get the end the jump in from Eru he gets so counter this is gonna do a ton of damage look at the good lord it wasn't even there weren't any freaking overdrive look at the damage good stuff catches the back dash okay he gets oh he slips on his banana uh oh uh oh uh oh no okay good stuff okay here we go it could no he gets scooped by the Tochu Geiki. And just like this, Eru takes another one, puts another one on the board, and is in clear lead with 2-2-0. Two, two, Let's see if Horu manages to bring it back. Oh lord, the momentum is clearly in Eru's, uh, Eru's, uh, uh, place. Uh, 
And here we go, Eru pushing Horu ever so slightly in the corner again with the corner uh, place. Ah, and here we go with Elu, not afraid to press buttons. Very nice run up grab by Horu. Ah, and again with the Totsugeki, man. And he gets the side switch as well. He's gonna get the. Oh, actually drops a combo. And the emergency. Oh lord, the emergency burst into the overdrive, into the kill. And just like this, Eru is on match point let's see who takes it is horu going to do a complete turn back we shall see ah uh, but yeah you can see that he's definitely struggling with the current matchup right now we go to totsugeki no you probably shouldn't do this yeah eru definitely is catching you out of the air again with the totsugeki counter hit and here we go the burst yeah you probably can burst right there lord and the drop again from eru uncharacteristic but still get again with the 6p man Oh, and the burst has been baited, and just like this, Eru takes it 3-2. And the next battle is none other than RX versus RF. That is written very, very strangely, by the way. Let me change it. <laughs> RF, okay, here we go. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. Okay, RX versus RF, the match of the Titans, and I have received so much stuff. Just one second, please, guys. I'll be with you guys in a couple of seconds. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good, we're good. And here we go with RX. Immediately has RF in the corner. Very nice aerial skull. Unfortunately for uh, RX, RF was aware that he was going to get anti-aired. And here we go, he's got stained. Manages to block low still. And very nice stuff from RF. Unfortunately for him, his opponent managed to catch the trumpet. And here we go with the Arbiter mixes. In the corner, very nice uh, Roman cancel right there. Hard to predict. Titans, one battle, who will take the victory? Exactly. It's two Titans, one battle. Exactly. This is hard to predict. I really don't know who's going to win. I think last time, RX managed to take it. And the double six before the win. If you do it once, yeah, fool me once. Uh, shame on me. Fool me twice. No, fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. And this time around, RX was definitely, both times actually, was completely on point. Very nice use of the Arbiter to um, prevent RF from running towards him. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Very nice stuff right there from RF. And the freaking... Uh, uh, oh, the big counter hit juggle right there. He's going to get the Nostrovia. And this is not going to kill. Wow, this is so close though. Let's see what is the mix. He is stained and the Arbiter. Oh, missed time Arbiter. But it's still okay. In panic, the mash, the Abare is the way to go. <laughs> and just like this. RF managed, RX actually managed to take the first match. Let's see how this pans out. And the jump in from RX manages to find the opening. He goes low this time around. And he uses the stain to get. Oh, very nice use of the skull to prevent RF from hitting the trumpet, man. That was so good. Good stuff from RX. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, very nice for S right there from RF. And here we go with the juggle. Unfortunately, he dropped it, but it's still okay. Very nice use of the command grab from RF and the wake up, the wake up orbiter uh, overdrive right there from <laughs> RX. And here we go with RX using the teleport, trying to catch RF, but RF using the scarecrow teleport to get out of harm's way and punish him out accordingly. That being said, RX managed to take this one. Very, very unfortunate. Very nice experience all over right there from RX right after uh, teleporting. Back to the neutral. RF putting some distance. Closing that distance, getting the command grab. Here we go, no overhead, instant overhead this time around. And here we go with the instant overhead this time around. He puts him on fire twice. And the quick dust into the Scarecrow combo. He's going to get a lot of damage, actually. Look at the damage. That's good damage. And here we go. And the Meteors for the, for the save, actually. And again with the Arbiter trying to... And successfully, oh lord, and the freaking close S for the win. RF finally putting one on the board. Well, one round that is, not one match. Let's see if he manages to take the second one as well again with the 6P counter hit, man. Those RX fireballs are all over uh, all over the screen and the places RF wants to occupy. RX is going to find different, yeah, definitely. But he's no stranger to this matchup, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure he has a, a backup plan. We shall see. We shall see. And that being said, the lead is clearly in RX's... Uh, favor and again with the 6p counter hit man and just like this this is gonna do rx manages to go up to zero rf nil he needs 
three matches if he wants to stay in the tournament. Let's see if he manages to do so. We shall see in a couple of minutes. Here we go with the jump in. Ah, and the big 6p counter hit yet again. Oh, that being said, here we go. He spin by the bomb and RF just freaking running straight toward RX. RX mistimes his aerial attack and gets scooped, gets grabbed by RF. Very nice optimization station from RF to not get hit by the weight that falls from the sky. And again with the... Uh, oh lord, and the stain state is back on track, man. And again with the Arbiter, he's gonna get the... <gasps> the juggle by using the RC and the uh, combined effect of the stain made it so that he... Uh, he got a wall break. Very nice optimization station from RX and again with the 6P. Oh, he couldn't quite get the kill right there, but it's still okay. He's still in. Oh, and again with the Abari 2K for the kill. Very nicely done by RX. On match point, about to take it 3 to 0 of, of over RF, man. And not just any freaking Faust player. The one of the best Faust players in the, in the world. And here we go. Yeah, the items have been. Oh lord, and the teleport, man. The cojones. Oh lord. <laughs> that was crazy. Nah, man, with RF managing to scoop RX with the spear. And RX uh, actually uh, bursting at that particular moment not to get hit by too much damage. And upon doing so, gets hit by the exploding bomb that RF had preemptively put on the freaking level. And just like this, RF takes the uh, second round. He still needs this one if he wants to stay in the tournament. Oh, very nice punish by RX. Manages to... Oh, but my lord, the jumping 2k. It hits so freaking low. Very nicely done by RX. And again with the spear is gonna do a lot of damage. No tension bar to get the extension. He gets the close S to catch the backdash, and just like this, he's gonna get the overdrive, and this is gonna kill. Good stuff from RF staying alive. Oh lord, that's base though. That's base though. But anyways, that being said, very nicely done by RF stays in the tournament. Let's see if he manages to uh, actually take two more. We shall see shortly and here we go with the command grab again man very nicely done by uh rf he gets the juggle and almost gets the wall break almost got it but rx not wanting to give it to him thank you very much for the follow sadly i'm a noob and welcome to the brothers that looks so good it did not gonna lie and again with rf he manages to take this round on the verge of actually uh, uh, making a comeback, actually. Let's see if this, uh, this happens or not. Oh, again with the anti -airs. Oh, and he couldn't quite get the juggle because of the item that he uh, preemptively, uh, threw the freaking weight. And again, with the 6 feet this time around, RF doesn't get hit by it. But this time around, is this 2k again. Gets hit by it. He gets hit by the spear. This time around, a little bit too, uh, early for the bomb. A little bit too late for the bomb. Cannot cover his burst attempt. Luckily for RX, he's gonna get the wall break with with not only the hard knockdown but the stain state here we go this is actual in unscapable pressure here we go with rx oh he's gonna get the afro or not okay just take right out of the freaking way of the afro very nicely done from rx good stuff good stuff and again on match points uh, again with the 6p counter it into stain man and RX definitely on point this time around. He wants it. He wants to stay alive. Wants to have his... Oh, Lord. And here we go with... Oh, my Lord. RF managed to get out. And he gets the Meteor. Good stuff. He gets the knockdown. Mini Faust for the win. Good stuff again with the tick freaking pressure. And again with the low. Lord and the... Oh, no. And, oh, Mini Faust, where are you going? Oh, and the Arbiter, man. But it's still okay. Oh, Lord. <gasps> he gets the Meteor. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And the close slide for the win, and RF brings it back 2-2. Two to two. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if RF manages to make the comeback. He was down to the wire downtown, man, but he still manages to bring it back. Very nice punish for the But here we go with RX using the Arbiter to zone RF, actually. My lord, all these, all the time trying to zone him, and that's what he should do, actually. But that being said, here we go. You can see RF staying just right out of the um, uh, right out of the range of the Arbiter right there. That being said, RX forced to pop the burst, catches the backdash with the Arbiter. Okay, here we go with the weight. Doesn't get rid of the 
uh, projectile. Here we go. This, ah, oh, the freaking juggle from our ex. This is crazy. He's gonna get again Nostrovia into our knockdown, into the freaking, uh, the freaking stain. He goes for a save jump, and that is it for this round. Our ex on match point. Our F is on in dire straight. He needs this one if he wants to stay alive. And again with the 6P, favorable, um, favorable trade uh, for our ex because he gets the knockdown. Here, oh, here we go with the skull and the freaking juggle, man. Oh, Lord, and the spear. Oh, no, he messes the freaking juggle. This is unfortunate again with the 6P counter hit. Wow, our X, man, he cannot afford to get open. Oh, and the drop and the freaking... Uh, thanks to the drop, our F manages to... Oh, Lord, he goes for the cross up. Oh, oh, oh my Lord, and our F just like this manages to take it. Here we go, he takes the round and is going down to the wire, guys. Last round from the last freaking match, our F versus our X, who's going to take it? We shall see. Lord, this is freaking crazy. This is a crazy matchup. Here we go with the stain. State and unfortunately for our F, he had the correct idea, but too late. Gets hit. Oh no, and the burst had got baited by our X. Our F is definitely in a very, very bad, uh, bad situation right there. It's okay, got rid of the stain and again with the 6P counter it has been the bane and just like this our X is gonna take it Good stuff from both This is Eru Ah, this is gonna be crazy How is Eru going to uh, Well, basically manage to get in man This is all I'm really looking forward to And on to the next battle My lord, uh, there's a current There's a typhoon right now in Japan I can hear the walls the wall's moving in my room, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Here's here we go with this Lensengeki. Very nice 2H right there, counter it from Takani and manages to open it. And oh my lord, the force slash for the open as well. Here we go with the Tosengeki trying to close the gap. Very nice uh, for P right there, and again with Takani using the 6HS and the extension. Oh, he couldn't quite get the, uh, the what's it called, the wall break, but it's still okay. Very nice 4K to punish. Oh, Lord, and the standing P. He could have gotten it. Murai. Here we go. The, oh, the rain water. And the standing P4, P4, the win of the first round. Is Eru gonna be, well, very nice. My Lord, that reaction 6P was crazy good. Good stuff from Takanin. Gets the first blood. And the safe jump. Here we go with the rainwater again. Couldn't quite get the juggle, unfortunately, because not close enough to the corner. The big 5 HS counter hit from Eru. Look at the damage. And the 6 HS. Okay, nice tech from the air grab right there from Takanin. Okay, here we go with the Totsugeki. And here we are. Very nice side switch from Takanin. Manages to get out of the corner. And back to the zoning game. Nice with punish from Takarin with the standing S. I believe it was the standing S. And again with the 6P into the snail. And just like this, Takarin manages to take the first match. Good stuff from him, but definitely not out of the game yet. It is. We shall see how he will adjust to all of this very, very strong defense from Takarin. Oh, get back to the neutral. No entire this time around. Edu finds the opening on the jump in. Here we go with the rainwater. And again with the Totsugeki pressure from Edu. Finds the opening. Finally forces Takarin to pop the burst. A nice air grab from Takarin. Side switches and pushes Edu in the corner. Nice reaction standing P, not gonna lie. And here we go with this 2 HS and a 6 HS counter hit. And this should do with the actual bomber. Very nicely done. And on to the second round of the second match. Immediately, uh, immediate uh, Totsugeki round start from Eru. Again with the Totsugeki, doesn't want Takarin to get out of this pressure. Here we go, the safe jump. Unfortunately, couldn't quite convert the rest of this combo and Takarin uh, takes this opportunity to, uh, to um, challenge the buttons of Eru and find the opening, but unfortunately for him, Eru Finds the opening himself, gets the wall break into soft knockdown, and the positive bonus. Oh, okay, very nice overhead right there from Takarin. He's gonna get a nice chunk of damage. Goes for the fake cross up, couldn't quite get the juggle with the standing P. Oh, and the freaking air to air in favor of Eru manages to take the second round very convincingly. 
We go round start of Totsugiki yet again. Again Totsugiki. Okay, no end tires right there. Oh lord in the 2D. Here we go with the knockdown. And here we go with the corner pressure. Takami manages to get out. Nice 2K 2D. Gets the knockdown. Nice jump in. Gets the knockdown yet again. And the big 6 HS counter hit. He's gonna get the kill combo. And unfortunately for him, for Takarin actually, just dies with his burst right here. This is really unfortunate. Probably was wary of getting his burst baited, I suppose. But it's still okay. And here we go with the big 2 HS counter hit. Takarin draws first blood. Very nice air to air. Here we go with the Lin Sengeki. Tries to keep Edu far from him. That being said, here we go with the jump. Oh lord, he gets oh no too far for the uh, dust punish. This is unfortunate for Takarin. He had the correct idea, the correct reads. But was a tad bit too off when it came to positioning. It's still okay. Both opponents do not have their burst anymore, so it can really go either way. That being said, Edu does have the advantage of damage compared to Axel. Here we go with the RC. Edu wanting to close the gap. Very nice. Punishes right there. He tried to schnapps using the command grab, but that being said, Edu manages to take it with a very convincing juggle. Good stuff from Edu. Oh, no punish on the Tetsugiki right there. And here we go with the far P. Pushes Edu ever so slightly out of the corner, far from him. But Edu very persistent when it comes to jumping in. Here we go with the Tetsugiki pressure. Lord, both opponents going to the air. No one's finding the opening, but what just as I say this, Edo finds the opening. He's gonna get a lot of damage. Holy oh, lord! Good lord! This killed! Oh lord! That was crazy! My lord! 80% of the life of freaking Tuckering just flew out of the window. That was crazy, man. Good lord! <laughs> Good stuff. That being said, here we go with Takarin back with the zoning game. Finds the opening with the 4S counter hit. No entire air again. Uh, here we go with the 4, uh, the jumping back HS. And again, he tries to go with the, uh, the a quick dust. Couldn't quite get the opening. Elu's defense has been really, really good, not gonna lie. Oh, here we go with the 2D slide. Knockdown into RC, into you. Stay in the corner. If I can open you, you're dead. Oh, here we go, the pressure's real. But it's still okay. Takani managed to find the opening for the Lens Sengeki and pushes Edu away. Oh, yeah, on to the second mat, the second round, actually. Here we go, the Totsugeki and May manages to find the opening, gets the knockdown. Lord, and here we go, the Totsugeki Galore, you have to hold it. And the slick freaking command grab is gonna get the wall break. No overdrive for the hard knockdown. Oh lord, both opponents just keep running straight to each other and just waiting. Oh, that big, that big 6P counter, that was great. And back to the neutral. Here we go with the rainwater. Oh, and the follow-up of the Lensengeki he gets the juggle. Are you serious? That was sick. That was sick. Ah, and the wake-up command grab. Is he going to hit him? Oh lord. Oh no, but he gets it by the follow-up of the freaking overdrive of May. You have to be careful, guys. If you try to punish this and the whale is still out, you're gonna get hit by it. This is really, 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 really unfortunate. That being said, here we go with Takarin. Full onslaught. Oh, Lord, oh! And here we go with the fart. Oh, it just, oh. And the Lensengeki. Takarin definitely wants to stay alive. And the Quake Dust right there, and just like this, he should take it. Ah, uh, he couldn't quite get the end of the juggle, but it's okay. Nice air to air from Takarin, just like this. We have a 2-2, two 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 two. I believe, so we have actually a match. Good stuff, let's see how this pans out. And here we go with the 6-H. Ah, uh, and here we go with Eru finding the opening, immediately forced to pop the burst. Eru the GOAT. Ah, uh, yeah, he is definitely good. Let's see if he manages to take it over Takarin. Oh, very nice. Totsugeki. Oh, and the bait of the birds. This is going to do a lot of damage. And here we go with the big counter in. And just like this, Edu is going to take it. Wow, that was explosive. And just like this, Edu is on match point. Let's see how this spins out. Lord. Oh, and the 4S counter hit. This is unfortunate for him. 
And here we go, the Lensengeki gets the juggle. Good stuff from Takarin. Very nice entire right there. That freaking snipe was crazy good. No rainwater right there to make it safe. Here we go, the Totsugeki pressure. Very nice entire, and he should be able to. Oh, actually not. Okay. Oh, here we go with Takarin again, getting out of the corner. Ah, very nice. He gets the punish and the juggle and almost got the kill. But it's still okay. The 2 HS for the win. Again on match point. Oh, this is actually final match. The one who takes this one takes it all. Very... Let's see how this pans out. Oh, very nice air to ever there in favor of Takarin. Manages to... Oh, Lord, but Takarin doesn't have any uh, burst right there to make... Oh, Lord, and the freaking juggle. This is going to do a lot of damage. Lord and Eru just like this on the verge of taking it, actually. Oh, Giri. Oh, that very nice 2P. Oh, and just like this, Eru takes it. 3 to 2. Very nicely done. Oh, none other than Kohide versus RX. The match of the Titans yet again. Both players are character specialists of their respective characters obviously and let's see how this pans out a quick start of the round with the 2s from rx managed to find the opening but kohide manages immediately to push rx ever so slightly in the corner rx used the teleport to get out of the corner then back to neutral very nice 6p counter hit right there from kohide followed by the juggle the quick does get correctly uh blocked by rx here we go with rx using the Arbiter to try to put some distance between him and his opponent. Very nice use of the two HS counter hit right there to get the juggle again. And my lord, Kohide backdashing on the far S from RX. Our lord did not sound correctly blocked. Very nicely done. Here we go with the grab. Oh lord. And yeah, back with the juggle. And this should do with the OTG for Kohide. Takes the first round. Very nicely done. Here we go back to the neutral. Very nice jump in by RX. Gets the juggle into the Arbiter. Again with the Arbiter. Oh, and the Aerial Arbiter this time around. He's got the counter hit on the first 2k, followed by 2k 2d. And he's going to get the wall break. Unfortunately for him, the, uh, the what's called the um, the stain was on. So it uh, it broke the wall a little bit preemptively, prematurely. But it's still okay. Here we go with the grab from Kohide. Not out of this yet. And again with the throw. Giovanna is a throw character. Here we go with the throw again. And the throw again, just like this. Kohide uses the overdrive to prevent his opponent from using the burst and forcing him to go to the third round. Oh, actually taking it. Damn. Well, Kohide brings it back with throw. <laughs> very very nicely done. Good stuff. First match to Kohide. Very nice entire right there from Kohide. And the... Cannon Drill right there catches the backdash of RX. RX very good use of the Arbiter to hit the dash attempts from Kohide. Lord, here we go. The, oh, Lord, the jump S right there from RX. Finds the opening this time around. Goes for almost an empty low. Okay. Oh, Lord, in the overdrive finds the opening on RX. He's going to get no wall break, actually, because it goes on the other side. And the very nicely... Timed throw from RX manages to get the wall break into the kill. Good stuff. RX puts one on the board. One round, that is. Okay, here we go again with the 2k 6p. Sepultura has been working a lot for Kohide. Very nice awareness again from him. And the cannon drill to catch any backdash attempt. This is going to hurt a lot. He's going to get the heavy knockdown. Probably going to go for a safe jump. Nope, not even. Doesn't really need it. Very, very nicely done by RX. By Kohide takes it with a perfect. And on to the second, the third round actually. Again with the cannon drill. Again with the cannon drill this time around. RX uh, on point punishes it with a, uh, with a, uh, it's called, uh, six P. And here we go with the corner pressure from, from. Oh, okay, from Kohide. Gets the Sepultura. Oh, and the Hail Mary from RX, but still, okay. RX had a second tension bar to make it safe. And again, with Kohide, with the corner pressure, gets the grab in. Oh, and he goes with the kick flip setup. And the tick pressure for the kill. Just like this, Kohide up 2-0. RX in dire straits. Desperately needs 
these three games if he wants to stay in the tournament. Let's see how this pans out. Here we go back to neutral. Ah, the nice 2H has catched the back, the dash from Kohide. And the immediate golden burst from Kohide manages to get two tension bars. Sword, ah, uh, and here we go with Oryx staying very, very, very solid. However, Kohide manages to open him up with the aerial overdrive, punishes his 6P attempt. And here we go with the stain. Lord, ah, uh, here we go, Kohide uses, good use of the overdrive though. Aerial overdrive to keep the pressure, man. And here we go with the kill. And just like this, Kohide on the verge of eliminating Oryx from the tournament and moving to the semifinals. Uh, the um, the loser semifinals. And here we go, the burst bait. This is looking bad for Oryx. His health hanging by a thread. Oh uh, lord, no anti error there. Again, with the both opponents like going completely ham. <laughs> if actually Goita had the draw, it would have spelled death right there. And here we go with the stain state. Ah, uh, here we go. Oryx still in it. He's gonna get the Nostrovia with the corner carry. Oh, very nice. He's gonna get the wall break. But Kohide does have to full bar of tension, man. This is gonna be hard. No resources from. Oh, Lord and the freaking juggle from. Ah, uh, uh, and unfortunately gets hit by the aerial overdrive. Very nicely done by Kohide. Takes it a clean three. Very, very. I'm really looking forward to this so much. Oh, okay, here we go. On to the next battle. This is the loser semifinal. Kohide versus Eru. One who takes this. We'll move on to the loser's final. And immediate pressure from Kohide wants to take it. Man. Oh, Lord. And immediate burst, though, from Kohide. Forced to pop the burst. And here we go. The, again, the cannon drill. Counter hit. Forces himself to... Uh, to uh, Forces Eru to pop the burst this time around. And immediate look at the damage. Lord. And this character has been nerfed. <laughs> this is crazy. And here we go with the dolphin into the death. Very nicely done by Eru. Takes the first round. Good stuff from Eru. And on to the next battle. Let's see. Oh, very nice entire right there from Koi. He manages to squeeze in a 6P counter hit for the, uh, for the hit, actually. And here we go. And the big... Oh, my lord. This is going to do a lot of damage. Big overdrive raw damage right there. And on. And just like this, here we go with... Oh, Lord. And Koida just takes it with a freaking perfect. This was a huge statement from him. Let's see if Edu manages to bring it back. We shall see. Oh, Lord. No, you don't. <laughs> Good stuff from Koida goes for a save jump. And finally, the burst from Edu. Forced to get out of the sticky situation. Oh, and the big 5S, uh, 5HS to hit uh, Koida on his way to dash for it. Oh, and the wake up overdrive, and Koida is gonna take it back. Oh, Lord. Oh, that just. That instant block, though. And just like this, Koida manages to scoop and to uh, bait to shimmy, actually. And here we go, Kohide really, really wanting to take it. And the wake up, Nasante for the kill. Crazy stuff. Good stuff from Kohide takes the first round, uh, the first match. On to the second battle. Very nice with punish right there from Kohide. Take, finds the opening with the 2K 2D. Again with the 2K 6P uh, Sepultura. Here we go, very nice ending. Uh, P to punish the aerial attempt from Eru. Ah, Eru gets hit by the stand. Uh, the quick dust. Oh, and here we go. And probably that Koide could have taken it if he did an overdrive. Okay, here he goes with the safe option of using the Nasante later on. Very nicely done. And back to the neutral. Eru struggling to find his footing, I feel. Gets the knockdown. Ah, forces the burst. Okay, finally finds the aerial approach. Unfortunately, gets scooped by the 2D of Kohide. Eru trying to fish for normals there. 
Unfortunately, he gets uh, six speed himself. There you go with the cannon drill again, catching the back dash attempts from Eru. He's gonna get wall broken. Soft knockdown. And here we go with the dolphin. Oh, nice damage right there from Eru. Oh, and the wake up overdrive, unfortunately for him. Eru was already in the air, my lord, and the kick flip on his way down. And the big six SH. Oh, on hit. Oh, he tried to go for a uh, command row. Still okay. He had RC to make it safe. And no, no, anti right there. It's not gonna kill. Nice eyes, not gonna kill. And you could see that Koida knew that it wasn't gonna kill. And he, instead of resorting to use and uh, to have to benefit from a wall break, he decided to keep Eru in the corner to um, guarantee pressure on wake up. Very nice call from, uh, from Koida. Yeah, hopefully it was. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Very nice 6p again from Kokide on the Dolphin. Catches the back dash with the 2D. And the big shimmy, unintentional shimmy at that. And this is really, really too bad for Edu. Gonna get wall broken into a hard knockdown. Safe, safe jump. Oh, Lord. A little bit quick on the RC. And the quick dust for the kill. Just like this, we're on match point. Elu needs to make something happen right now if he wants to stay in the in the in the match. Very nice 2k 2d 6 6p into Sepultura yet again. Oh lord, catches back dash. Unfortunately, couldn't quite. Oh, couldn't quite optimize after it. Couldn't quite get the follow up. And then Asante man catches the freaking Totsugeki into the overdrive. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Here we go. Good stuff from Kohide. Definitely smelling blood. Oh lord, and the freaking burst galore. And just like this, Kohide takes it a clean. So, on to the next battle. And this is gonna be the winner's final. It's gonna be none other than Hoshino versus versus Mugi. This is gonna be a big, big, big match. Tsini, Tsini, Behi, eto, Tsini, Behi de Saba made hakai shichatan desu 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 yo ne, desu yo ne. Mo saikyo no waza desu yo ne, kore. Ma tori aizu, here we go with the winner's final is gonna be none other than Hoshino versus Mugi 2 Giants. Not only in game, but also in real life. <laughs> now these players are extremely strong, very very um, specialists of their respective characters. And here we go with the down with the system for the win. First uh, first, first round goes to Hoshino, let's see how this pans out. And start of the round with the DP from Mugi, finds the opening. Oh and the big jump and counter hit right there from Mugi again with the counter hit. He's gonna get the wall break and the positive bonus. Oh, okay, nobody's home for the behemoth. This is unfortunate. This is going to be a wall break into the kill. Good stuff from Mugi immediately. Uh, answers in due form and takes the second round. Start of the... Oh, Lord, and the big Beyblade counter hit. No... Oh, finally, forced to... The, the, the Hoshino pops the burst to get out of pressure. There you go. Very nice positioning from Mugi. He's got the advantage. Ah, but yeah, Hoshino managed to... Pop the mine and scoop Mugi with the aerial behemoth. Oh lord! And the freaking overdrive. Is this gonna. Oh no, and the clash in favor of Mugi. Definitely aware of it. Definitely on point with it. And punishes in due form. He's gonna get the. No, not the kill. Oh lord, and the back dash, man. The double back dash, actually. Oh no, and he gets scooped by the standing H from Mugi. Mugi puts one on the board. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, Hoshino not afraid to just run it back. And here we go, the jumping D. No one's home. Okay, here we go. Mugi wants to get that wall break. Unfortunately, gets scooped by the behemoth. <gasps> and freaking Hoshino gets the well, side swap, actually. The, the side switch. That was crazy good. Oh, and Mugi gets it by the freaking drone. And here we go with Hoshino and the relentless pressure, man. Oh lord, and again with 
Hoshino, I think, trying to bait the uh, the overdrive, I guess. Finally pops the burst, and the freaking 6P counter it into the overdrive. It's not gonna kill? No, it's not. Oh, it is? Okay, it is. My bad, I lied. Good stuff from Mugi takes the first round. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, you can see Mugi. A little bit surprised that... Yeah, a little bit surprised that the... Uh, the Beyblade hit right away. He thought that perhaps Hoshina had some problem or something. And here we go with the 6P. Uh, 6 HS, 6 HS into wall break. Oh, the big, the big 2S counter. Uh, Beyblade counter it for the win. And just like this, Mugi on the verge of actually taking it, man. Good stuff. 2 2 0 in lead for Mugi. How is Hoshino going to answer it? Going to find a solution for this situation? Very nice far S counter. Uh, the, Plain old opening. And oh lord, and Mugi waking up with the gold burst. And just like this, Hoshino puts Mugi in the corner. He's gonna get the system of a down. Is this gonna kill? Oh no! God blessed be the. Ah, uh, yeah, and here we go. Yeah, Mugi is. Oh lord, and Hoshino committed to an attack and gets scooped by the overdrive. And here we go with Mugi going with the extension as well, the extension station. Hoshino forced to pop the... Oh lord, lord, oh no, are you serious? <gasps> that was crazy good. Here we go with Mugi using... Oh, he used the command grab to uh, go through the... Um, that was crazy, man. To go through the overdrive of Hoshino and... Uh, effectively just nullifying it completely all the while getting him more health uh lowering his uh, blood gauge and that that was crazy that was like next level next level big brain man good stuff from mugi and here we go he's gonna be on the verge of taking it and moving on to the grand finals big wall break right there here we go and the stare down into the grab into mugi moves on to grand finals final hoshino Gold Lewis versus Kohide Giovanna, two titans behemoth, if I might say, of their respective characters. Let's see how this pans out. Okay, media started the round with the 6P of Hoshino. No one's home though. Very nice 6P. Into simple direct from Kohide, pushes Hoshino in the corner, forces him to burst. And here we go. Goodbye, neutral. Welcome to mine. And Hoshino, unfortunately, well, fortunately for him, actually, uh, forces Kohide to pop the burst. Ah, uh, manages to get Kohide out of his hair, but Kohide immediately uses the... Oh, Lord, this is going to do a lot of damage. Is he going to... Lord, oh, this is going to kill, isn't it? Oh, yes, this is going to kill. Very nice conversion station from Hoshino. Takes the first match very convincingly. That juggle was sick, by the way. Okay, and here we go with the jumping D counter hit. Gets the knockdown. He goes for the overhead. Gets the juggle. Pushes Koide in the corner. Oh, Lord. Goes with the dash reset. And he goes for the overhead. Lord. And just like, look at the damage, man. Lord. I've never seen Koide like so lost in translation, man. That was crazy, man. That was so crazy. Very, very suffocating pressure from Hoshino right there. It takes it extremely convincingly. Okay, Kohide going it and going at it a little bit more gently, I suppose, a little bit more softly. And again with the pressure from Hoshino, man. Using the 4S to check any dashes from Kohide. Oh Lord, very nice, uh, uh, what's it called? Very nice with punish. Lord, Kohide using the very, very long invincible frames of the 6 speed to go through the mine. And here we go with Hoshino in the corner and Kohide using Giovanna to her full extent, to her full grappling extent, and gets the first round of this match. Oh, okay, here we go, this standing P, standing P, 6P into the Spultura. Can't really quite manage to get Hoshino entirely in the corner, and Hoshino very, very on point when it comes to using the for S to check the dashes from Kohide. And here we go with... Oh lord, he gets a juggle. No, he couldn't quite. He drops it, but it's still okay. In the end, it works out for him. Oh lord, he went for the reset and the juggle with the standing S for the kill. 
good stuff. And just like this Hoshino. Oh, on the verge of actually taking this one as well. And going up 2-0, two to zero, that would be crazy good for him. He's gonna get the juggle. No, Lord and the Nasante for the freaking save. He's gonna bring Hoshino in the corner. Very nice corner carry. Oh, that 2P. Oh, and the burst bait. And just like this, this is gonna be death. Good stuff from Hoshino. Takes the second match as well. And Kohide on the verge of actually losing this one. Let's see how this pans out. Good stuff. And here we go with the following. Okay, Kohide has Hoshino in the corner. Very nice punish on the behemoth right there. And here we go with the relentless pressure. Hoshino using the standing S fast recovery to try to apply pressure but still not be. Thank you very much for the follow to Raska and welcome to the Brojo. And here we go with the oh my lord and that Nasante counter hit that was crazy good. Oh lord and here we go with the pressure. Kohido forced to Ah, uh, and again with the mine, man. The mine. What do you want to do? And the wake up overdrive from Kohide. This time around finds his opening and uh, punishes and kills. And gets the kill with the Roman cancel. Very nicely done by Kohide. Okay, very nice whiff punish again by Kohide, man. On point when it comes to this. We go with the pressure again with the... Oh, my lord. <gasps> he even gets the sw side switch and uses the mine to try to keep Kohide in the corner. Nice whiff punish yet again by Kohide is gonna get an extended combo. That was a sick combo by the way. Into soft knockdown. No entire again. Ah, here we go. You can see Kohide trying to whiff punish, man, but not working too much in his favor. Ah, here we go with the jump. Overdrive. Again with the mine. It's crazy. Okay, this time around the mine didn't have a lot of life. Because of the security level of of Hoshino. And here we go with the wall the the um the overhead. No! <gasps> uh, I think it was baited. Yeah. Finally Kohide puts one on the board. Very nicely done by Kohide. He's not out of it yet. Puts one, two, two against Hoshino. Hoshino still in the lead though. Kohide needs two if he wants to make his way to the grand final. Okay, here we go. Let's see how this pans out. Immediate jump in from Hoshino. Ah, finds the opening with the jumping to with the jumping the counter hit. Oh, here we go, my lord! And Hoshino, a lot of free to press buttons, even though the cannon drill is plus unblock. Again, here we go with the pressure, man. You have to hold it. You have to hold it. Man, here we go with the tick pressure from Kohide. Oh, no, no! Wow, that was crazy. Manages to go in between, right underneath the mine by using the 6P low profile. Just like this, Kohide is going to get the wall break. Oh lord, and the jump in by Hoshino. And again with the wall, that with the, the backdash from Kohide manages to get the kill, man. Good stuff. Here we go on to potentially... Yeah, it's not the match point. Not by any means, but... Thanks to this one, Kohide might be able to put one on the board as well, and that would be a good match, but it's rather... Yeah, this seems to be a little bit complicated for him. He's in the corner, almost no resources. He finally get the burst, though. And here we go, the extended combos right there from Kohide. A little bit too late, a little bit too far to get the far S, unfortunately. He's gonna get the wall, the, uh, the, 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 the grab. Second grab. Oh, my lord, and the two... The close S counter hit into wall splat into... Overdrive into the kill for Kohide and just like this Kohide puts one on the board. Again, we have a match ladies and gentlemen. I feel like this is gonna go down to the wire. Let's see if Hoshino can get the momentum back. It went so good up until the third match and yeah, and then everything started to crumble a bit. Very nice use of the 6P right there into the behemoth to get the, the hard knockdown. Here we go with the again 2P. 2K 6P to pull to rough from Kohide has been working so well. Oh, again, here we go with Hoshino. Try to go with the... Uh... Oh, my lord, this is gonna do so much. Oh, lord. Yeah. Oh, and the air to air in favor of Hoshino. Hoshino takes the lead. One round to zero. Let's see how this pans out. 
and the 2k6p. Sepultura yet again. Oh lord, and Kohide gets it. Oh my lord, and uses the uh, the invisibly frames of the backdash to get out of pressure. Very nicely done. You go the mine, you have to respect my neutral. And the Samurai, even though he used the 6p, gets scooped by the mine. Oh lord, oh okay, the recovery of the 2p is godlike. Oh lord, catches the backdash, and this should do actually. And Hoshino makes his way back to Grand Finals. A clean three. Here we go, the Grand Final. Mugi, Nagori Yuki against Hoshino Gold Lewis. Let's see who is going to take it back home. We shall see. And on to the start of the match. Immediate pressure from Mugi. Wants to bring Hoshino in the corner. Oh, very nice to chest counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. Couldn't quite get the juggle afterwards, but it's still okay. Again with the 2 HS counter hit. Hoshino. Oh, this time around on point with his entire. Very nicely done. Oh, Lord. And the big 2 HS counter hit yet again by Mugi. He's going to get the kill. I think he's going to kill. Yeah, it's definitely going to kill. This is death. Good first round from Mugi. Takes it very convincingly. Let's see how the second round pans out. Okay, start the round with the DP. Oh lord, and here we go with the grab. Hoshino respecting the pressure, man. Tried to press a button though, a second button yet again. And here we go with the 6HS. Wall break! Lord, and Mugi definitely DP loving and a quick cancel into the overdrive to not even give the time to Hoshino to burst and reset the neutral. Very, very nice decision making from Mugi takes the first uh, the first match extremely convincingly. Let's see if Hoshino can bring it back. Oh, Lord in the jumping in favor of Hoshino this time around. He's the one to apply pressure. Immediate burst from Mugi. Good Lord. Here we go with the far S. Finds the opening. And no command grab for you, sir. Oh, no, he's gonna pop. No, oh, no, you shouldn't have moved. It's okay. He did have the time to put a mine on the floor. Still okay. Hoshino on the life lead. And the overdrive Hail Mary for the kill. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to do it. Sometimes you just have to do it. Not think, just do. Here we go, the start of the round with the DP. No grabs for you, sir. Here we go, the side switch goes for the empty low, finds the opening. Here we go with the pressure, the enormous behemoth pressure that you have to eat. And the big wall bounce. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Is this gonna kill? Lord, I'm not even surprised anymore yet. This Oh, no, it's not actually. Very nice stuff from Hoshino. Oh, and goes for a simple throw for... The kill and just like this, Hoshino puts one on the board. Okay, at least he did a lot better than the the first uh, match that they had against each other in uh, the winner's racket where Mugi sent him into the losers. This, at least now he managed to put one on the board. Okay, here we go with the uh, the big pressure, man. Again with the standing P, standing P to continue the pressure. And here we go with, oh uh, lord, you can see that Mugi are uh, trying to bait these backdashes from Hoshino. But Hoshino doesn't want... Ah, uh, to have to, oh lord, Hoshino not able to put the mine on the floor, man. Mugi won't allow it. Ah, oh, and the big third part of the Rekka counter hit for the kill by Mugi. Did this a lot of damage, man. Okay, I'm to the second match, the second round, I'm sorry. Okay, here we go, the behemoth pressure. Have to hold it. Have to hold it. Ooh, finds the opening, but immediately Mugi finds the gap in the pressure and presses button. His first goal, I think, is like just to push Hoshino in the corner. Ah, okay, I think he probably smelt it. The wake up DP. Wait, wake up reversal. And here we go, the. Oh my lord. And this should do? Yeah, this is gonna do, obviously. Good stuff from Mugi. Takes the third match and is currently in the lead. 2 to 1. This is the grand final, meaning that if Mugi wins the following match, Hoshino. Will have lost and the tournament will be over. Let's see how this pans out. Again, immediate start of the round with DDP. Hoshino forced to burst to get out of this tent, this predicament. Ah, and the Beyblade juggle, man. Look at the damage. Yeah, Mugi cannot resort to using any blood move right there, but he doesn't even need it. Takes it, and just like this, we are on tournament points. 
in favor of Mugi again with the DP start of the round. Finds the opening. Ah, and the double Fukio in order to melt your brain. Another, not another command grab. Ah, yeah. Ah, Lord. I think he could have taken it right there. Here we go. Last chance for Hoshino. Last chance you have to. And the badly timed meaty from Hoshino. He gets scooped and grabbed.